welcome back guys and girls it is me and Kelly in today's video we are back on the beast inside ladies and gentlemen this is chapter 13 or episode 13 for us and boy oh boy am i excited to be here now this game may be coming to a close in this chapter it seems like everything's kind of meeting here at this climax of a point and i'm really curious to see how this goes because like we're missing emma and we haven't had an ending for that story and the game's apparently everybody's saying there's 13 chapters i looked it up just to make sure I thought maybe I was like, well, maybe it's 14. I was just wrong the entire time. No, it's 13. So I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm very curious to see how this is going to go. But you know what? We're going to figure it out. We're going to enjoy it. Before we get into that, though, my mic had to be moved onto my desk because my boom arm fell. And it was a whole thing. I had to fix it. And I wanted to record this video. So I just put it on my desk on a stand. Um, if you guys hear any noise from the computer, I do apologize because it is significantly closer to where my computer sits. So I do apologize ahead of time. But you know what? You guys shouldn't hear that much. In fact, there's actually no audio coming through for right now, so you were, I think we're fine. So let's just hop on into this. Okay. Who is we? This really happening? Oh, okay. So this is this is right after. Okay, this is like right after the scene. What? Where's that voice coming from? This is right after the scene where um we get slammed in here and the dad is up top. Okay. Long hallway foreboding. Fairly foreboding. Adam! Adam! Emma! Emma, are you here? Oh, there's two of us. Where are you at, hun? You're my uptown girl. Where are you at? I must have lost my mind. What is going on? Hey, it's it's Top Hat. Hey, bud. Oh. A what? A what? What? Oh my! Oh, so we're like, we're like melding, or like we're in the same time frame. No, we're not in the same time frame. Is it really a trap, or is it just my imagination? That is nasty. That is nasty. I'm hearing things that don't exist. No, you're you're seeing things that don't exist. If I'm being particularly honest with you, and this these roots are definitely one of them. It's the roots of your problem. <laughs> that was awful. I apologize. I'm surprised I haven't been a jump scare yet. I was really expecting one to be here. Okay. Oh, here it is. It's just like. Water? No coming back. Hey, we finally see what we look like. That's delightful. Not funny. Cried. Okay, so what? Who? What? Open the door, bud. The key fits the lock. Imagine the key just broke in the lock right, like right there. That'd been so. That'd been so sad. I would have cried for my boy. Hey, it's Top Hat Guy. Hey, bud. So, who are you? Are you me? It's over. You can't get away. Hear me. You're not going to get away with it. I know what you did. I followed the trail of your crimes. I've been to all the places you've spilled blood. There's just one thing that remains a mystery. Why? That's beyond my grasp. So many people have died. Speak up. Tell me why. Yeah, tell me, top hat guy. The question is, why did you do it? You heard it. I know. And I opened your eyes, and then you saw your father's <laughs> reflection. No way. Every human being in the world full of beasts. to decide if they deserve to die. They certainly didn't deserve to live. They... Just think about it. Your father's partner, that old truck, desperate to get rid of us. The detective, a vulture, feeding on the tragedy of commoners. Oh, dude, dude stop cutting your fingers off. Who wished everyone all the worst. And last, but not least, the judge, a graph. A regular scout. So wait, who's the of fifth course. finger? Right, your father. A true role model 
What? That's small to me. I know they were not good people, but what you did to them... I protected us, don't you see? I saved your life. This is so strange. Seeing this from the other angle. You're just a bloodthirsty sadist who looks for guilt in others in order to blot out your own. You know where you would be if it wasn't for me. Dead. In that fucking darkness. The old man would be pissing on your grave, and all of fucking Blackstone would still be full of human vermin. Maybe. But that's not an excuse. I don't need one. The choice is simple. You let the vermin spread, and they will take over the world, or you wipe them out, protecting the righteous few. They will call you a lunatic. So what? There must be a Like what? You'll wash your hands of it all? You'll See, I was kind of... This is what I was kind of talking about last episode, but... Back into the way they executed this was honestly beautiful, I think. Accept true nature, deny the evil personality. Okay, so this is a good or evil situation. Um, I mean, because the fact of the matter is, right? It doesn't seem like what he's doing is wrong, right? It doesn't seem like what the evil side is doing is particularly wrong because the fact of the matter is, is that like, Although he got rid of those people, those people were awful people. So, you know, it's like kind of like the whole vigilante idealism. I feel like I go with the accept true nature just because, like, I feel like that's the ending that I want. You know, that's the ending that I kind of feel like would fit the story the best. You know, because the fact of the matter is, like, we deny the evil personality, then what was everything that happened for? You know, was it to free ourselves? Was it just like a, like a... You know, just a personal thing. Like, what, what, what is the thing? I think accepting the true nature is the truest way you can end this story. Because the fact of the matter is, if you accept your nature, that means you're accepting the fact that all this shit happened. And there's a possibility of the fact that maybe we can change the character. I don't know. It, obviously, nothing's going to happen after this. I'm just speaking, like, hypothetically. Because I feel like the decision would be kind of interesting. Um... We're gonna accept. I'm the one to blame. I won't deny it. It's time to accept the truth about myself. Whatever terrible you might be. What? What? Okay. trying to achieve i'm the one asking questions here name it what kind of sick game is this emma, sake. emma emma stevens really nadia kamayava in the 60s you underwent training in one of the kgb centers in <coughs> did you or did you not what what training what where's my husband We've recovered part of the report. Maybe all that you told me was a lie. The KGB called those women sparrows. They seduced Americans in order to relay information to Soviet intelligence. Was I really so blinded by love? Where did you get this? Who sent you? She refused to talk, but she doesn't deny the allegations. What have, what have you done to me? What the fuck is going on here? Talking like that. Nicholas was my great great grandfather. Would you believe it? His diary opened my eyes. You have to be very careful about who you trust. The world is full of beasts. Stop it! You're delusional! It's me! You're here! I'm your wife! Rex! 
expecting a baby? Remember? I don't, what the fuck is going on here? War creates front lines even in our homes. In our bedrooms. Anyone can be the bad guy. What the fuck is this plot twist? Please. Kill Emma. Suicide. We have two options? What? Okay. I don't know, because like... I don't know. This is actually a harder one. The last one was hard. This one's significantly harder because the fact of the matter is that she lied, number one. I don't know if there is a baby. And the, the fact of the matter is if it seems morally wrong to kill a parent when there's a baby in the stomach. That just, just seems morally wrong to me, even if she did fucking lie. Um, but there's way too many... Of, there's way too big of an ultimatum here between, like, killing yourself or killing her. The other thing is, like, he's... Okay, you know what? This is one of those times where we just pull out a fucking coin. We just pull out a fucking coin. Pull out a coin. Wait, where's my coin tossing app? I literally have an app for this because that's how often. Okay, so heads means we kill Emma. Tails means we kill ourselves. It starts on heads. Well, Y'all can barely see it, right? It is tails. So. Psych. <laughs> Y'all thought I was going to kill myself, didn't you? Well, that was the ending that I was not expecting. So, so we number one, we well, wait a minute, we gotta appreciate this music. God damn, it's loud as fuck, but god damn, this music is great. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna skip the credits. Oh. Okay, an ending. It's time to hunt. So, does that leave the option for another ending? Wow, you really had to fucking question me when I just questioned you? Really? Frick you, did. So... I wonder if we had killed off our, um, killed off our part or second half or the, you know, the, the past version, right? If that would have changed the future version. Because when we first started the game, we had that cutscene where, like, we saw, um, we saw ourself, um, in that chair. Well, we saw a fat guy in that chair. Or so we saw somebody in that chair, didn't we? We saw something going on there. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna do an in-depth review, like I told you guys. That'll probably be coming out on, um, this video's gonna come out on, what, Tuesday? So, Thursday, I'll be doing an in-depth review. And then... Saturday, I'll be doing the scare compilation for you guys. But no, this game was very enjoyable. I really did enjoy it. I need some time to process my brain. <laughs> and just understand everything that happened because... I love games with choices. That's why I really love Detroit Become Human. Although I didn't play that here. I played that on Twitch. Um, if you guys want to check my Twitch channel out, it's uh, twitch.tv forward slash nk0alpha. I'm live Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays usually. If you want to check that out, link in the description as well. Bang. Um... And that game was amazing because, like, I could replay the ending. But this game, you have to replay the entire game to get to the ending again. Which makes me think that there's a set of uh, choices that we have to make early on that we didn't quite figure out. So, I don't know. I'm very interested to see how this game, um... How this game translates into a, se a sequel if they end up doing a sequel. They did leave it open, so I'm very curious. Um... But, man, there were a lot of plot twists right there. Like, I, I understood the part where, like, we... We're the bad guy the entire time. We were the top hat guy. I understood that. 
that was something that I was talking about last episode. That was something I kind of understood was the thing. Because, like, the whole beast inside theme, it made sense. But the whole part about her being, like, a sparrow and shit, completely out of the fucking woodwork. And it does explain now when the guy knocked us out, it was actually a possession bit. So what happened was is that if we were to kill our old self, I think, or our evil self, I think is what it was, or deny the evil self, then we wouldn't have that situation. But I feel like it would end up having like her kill us or something off would happen there because it wouldn't be us there. So I don't know. This game was really awesome though. I really did enjoy it. Like I said, I'll be leaving the review, doing a review and a um, a little bit with the um, scare compilation and the not coming videos here. So look forward to that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being a part of the series. I mean, if you guys enjoyed it, if you did, push up a like and a comment down below and subscribe for future content if you are interested in that stuff. It is 100% free, so if you decide that you don't like my content in the end after all, you can always unsubscribe. It doesn't hurt you at all, and it shows me that uh, I need to fix some shit. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, I hope you have a great dinner wherever you are. Follow me on social media. The links are in the description down below. I'll see you guys in the next series video, which I already have it planned out. You guys are really, I'm, I'm really excited for this one. It's another two. It's two more horror games since we finished Rain of Deep. So I'm really excited for those two games. But yeah, thank you guys for watching once again. Have a great day now wherever you are. Stay safe, stay cool, and most importantly, I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.